the singer R. Kelly, and the owner of the New England Patriots, Robert Kraft. Both of these men now facing charges of sexual misconduct. Overnight, R. Kelly turning himself into police. In just a few hours, the singer will appear for a bond hearing on charges of sex abuse involving three minors. ABC's Lindsay Davis is in Chicago, where Kelly will face a judge this afternoon. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning to you. Yeah, R. Kelly, whose real name is Robert Kelly. Last night, he spent the first night behind bars. And later today, as you said, Eva, he's expected to appear in this courthouse right behind me for a bond hearing. His lawyer describes him as confident but devastated, adding he's been through this before. R. Kelly, emerging from his recording studio in Chicago Friday night, turning himself into police. The self-proclaimed king of R&B arrested now facing criminal charges. Robert Kelly was indicted before a Cook County grand jury on 10 counts of aggravated criminal sexual abuse involving four victims. Authorities say three of those alleged victims were between the ages of 13 and 17 at the time of the incidents, which ranged from 1998 to 2010. R. Kelly's defense attorney, Stephen Greenberg, asserts that this is a case of double jeopardy. One of the charges appears to involve the same alleged victim from the earlier case, and double jeopardy should bar that case, and he won that case. A jury acquitted him, fair and square, it's over. Attorney Michael Avenatti claims he provided a crucial break in the case against Kelly, turning over a videotape to prosecutors that he says shows the singer having sex with a 14-year-old girl around 1999. We are aware of two other tapes in existence one of which we have recovered. We will be providing those tapes as well. The charges come just weeks after the explosive Lifetime documentary Surviving R. Kelly, which profiles multiple women accusing the singer of controlling and abusive behavior and reignited calls for the singer to be investigated, claims which R. Kelly and his team continue to deny. I think all the women are lying, yes. We presented these women's stories after we did a lot of vetting and a lot of investigating, and we believed the women who came forward. Kelly has consistently denied any wrongdoing. His attorney sat down with us for an interview just last month. Does he deny ever having a sexual relationship with someone who was under the age of consent? Yes. He absolutely does. In 2008, the singer was acquitted of child pornography charges after a tape emerged reportedly showing sexual acts with a minor. He and the young woman allegedly involved denied they were the people in the video. Bounce, 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 bounce. We sat down with his ex-wife, Drea Kelly, last October, who claimed she was a victim of emotional, physical, and sexual abuse at the hands of R. Kelly. Do I believe that he should serve time in jail? I do. You would like to see him arrested? Yes. Sources tell ABC News that Kelly faces multiple investigations by various agencies, including the IRS, FBI, and Homeland Security investigations for various allegations with connections to child exploitation and possible sexual trafficking. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.